Hey guys, this is um, Feeding Frenzy 91, and I'm bringing you a different video. I know you guys are used to me gameplays or stuff like that, but I got this new ice cream maker, and I just was like, you know, let me make a video on how good ice cream is and how easy it is to make. I don't know whether you guys like that, but it's pretty good. All right, now, I found this recipe on food.com. I don't know if you can see it here, but um, it's um, actually for the ultimate birthday cake recipe, but as the title suggests, I'm making a different version of it. I'm making my own recipe. I just took the base of that. What I basically took was the idea to use milk and whipped cream instead of, you know, regular cream or heavy cream for it. Now, what I'm actually making is kind of my own invention, um, at least the recipe at least, and it's guava tamarind ice cream. Now, I have my guava shells which are just, you know, the guava inside. And I have this tamarind paste, which took me forever to make, okay? I mean, like, I had to strain the tamarind and do all that stuff, so I took this from real tamarind, added some boiling water, then separated it from the seeds. It took me like an hour, two, three, maybe, I don't know. And I didn't really count. But anyway, here are all the ingredients you're gonna need for guava tamarind ice cream. Obviously, you'll need the ice cream maker. Now, they say to do it in a bowl, but I use a blender because the blender mixes so much better than I do. So I'm just going to put all these stuff in the blender and we're going to get this uh, contraption on the way. Alright guys, now, just saying, I live in the Bahamas once more. So, you know, getting guava shells and tamarind aren't hard. If you can't get guava shells or tamarind, well, too bad because I don't... I mean, I live in a tropical area, these are tropical fruits. But if you can, use the... I use guava shells because using the actual guava has a lot of seeds. And I did pick the real tamarind though. Real tamarind. Using real tamarind, probably the best, rather than any type of byproduct like tamarind jam or anything like that. Anyway, let me just get this stuff underway then. Alright, so first, first things first. You're going to add this whole thing of whipped cream. Whipped topping, yes. It's imitation or generic brand, so that's what I got. This whole thing, it's a 16 ounce, 16 ounce uh, thing, so yes, this is, now as my cousin once told me, dessert supposed to be unhealthy, okay? So y'all who want some healthy desserts, don't watch this, or don't use this, because my cousin was like, I was like, you know, I actually made some almond ice cream, my cousin was like, almond ice cream? No, dessert is supposed to be unhealthy, that's the point of dessert. Alright, but anyway just going to take this spoon going to spoon out all the whipped cream into the blender now make sure you put the whipped cream in first why because this stuff will if you put this in last it will float to the top it will stop stuff from blending you really want to put this in before you put anything else in. alright so next we're gonna get our milk in there get some liquid get some liquid in there this is our milk I'm using whole milk um, because that's gonna make the best ice cream. Once again, not healthy, okay? This is about dessert, T what tastes good. This isn't about watching the old waistline. I may actually, because I do plan, I actually do um, plan to make some frozen yogurt with this, so if I make any tropical frozen yogurt dishes, I may put it on this channel as well, I don't know. I'm a video game channel, but hey, maybe cooking is, uh, like a minor or something. <laughs> All right, now you're gonna want to put two and a half cups. So we got our cups here. Just not two and a half, two and a quarter cups. My bad. So you just put that over the cream. One. Two. And yes, the cream will rise. You may need to take your spoon here, like dunk it down a bit luckily it's all in the blender for now so the blender will take care of that eventually all right then you take a quarter cup here just a little bit pour that in there as well again make sure it's in all right now um, before we add anything else blend this. So it looks something like this. Basically just puffed up milk. Alright, that's after we've blended the milk and the whipped cream. Now there was 
of an ingredient that I left out. It's vanilla extract. Now, remember, I took this recipe from online and made it into something different. So you guys can take this recipe that I'm showing you now and make it something completely your own. One thing about ice cream, once you have your basics, you really don't need, you don't even need milk and cream. You can make, like I did almond milk, if you're a health fanatic before. But you just need, basically, you need some type of dairy product. Yogurt, milk, almond milk, some type of, even though almond milk isn't dairy, some type of dairy product or substitute. You need, and then you can add, and you, then you put in usually vanilla or sugar. You don't even have to put in sugar, because if you don't want sugar, you want sugar for your ice cream. So you put in anything you really want in ice cream, because the maker will just turn it into ice cream for you. All right, so we're gonna take this one tablespoon of vanilla extract, add it in. All right, now let's get to those sugar. With the sugar, you're only going to take, you're not going to need much sugar for this recipe because it is already very sweet from the fruits. Tamarind and guava, for those of you who don't know, are already very sweet. So, we're going to only put in um, three quarter a cup of sugar. And you can just measure it whichever way you want. I just pour it into a cup until I think that it's about three quarters. That's all you're going to need. You don't want it overly sweet. Put in three quarters a cup of sugar. Okay? Then come our fruits. I just dump the guavas in, okay? Dump them in like this, get them out of the can, they'll sink to the bottom, get dumped up. Now, the tamarind is where it gets tricky. The tamarind is, I don't have a measurement for that because what I do is I just take a cup like this and I put in as much tamarind as I think is good, right? And then what I'm going to do is, I'm going to taste it at the end, and then you just, you, this is really a tasting thing when you get when you get to the tamarind, because tamarind is a sharp fruit. Tamarind, you don't exactly taste the tamarind as much as you taste the tamarind accentuate the other flavors. So it's a very sharp fruit, and you definitely don't want to put in too much, but you don't want to put in so little that it's hidden, either. If y'all ever tasted a tamarind first, you're hit by like a sudden sharpness of like citric or whatever, whatever type of acid, just acidic in general, and then you're hit by the sweet. So that's good. You really want to get that sharpness, okay? That's all the tamarind I'm going to use for now. Now, if you, if you after you blend this all together, if you taste it and, the, and it doesn't taste like you have the tamarind, then you're going to have to just put in more. That's all. There's no measurement for the tamarind I can give you because it has to be a taste thing for you. Alright, so, so we put this on. Okay, we have our mixture now. It should look like this, a bit brownish, you know, maybe a tad bit reddish depending on how much guava you used. Because once again, it's up to your prefer preference. But let's just, um, what you're going to do is, after you get it blended, you take this, put it in your pitcher over here, or whatever pitcher you have, or whatever container, and you mix it again with a like mix it again with like a spoon. I use a spatula because there will be some whipped cream that didn't fully blend. I don't know why, but it doesn't fully blend. But mix it in afterwards, and then you put it in the fridge for about at least an hour. You want it to thicken up. You want it to get chilled before you put it on your ice cream maker. All right, so I'm gonna put this in the fridge for an hour. Then we'll start that ice cream maker. All right, guys. Now I've got my mixture here. It's pretty thick now. I've got my freezer bowl attached to the ice cream thing. Plug that in. All right, got the case and everything, so I'm just gonna put this in here. Mount the case on. I'm right in there. All right, now, yes, I'm just gonna start this first, and then I'm going to um, pour the thing in after I start it. It's gonna be pretty thick. And if your thing is like water, do not pour it in because it's not gonna be as nice. All right, here we go. Starting to turn, pouring the solution in. It's pretty thick, pretty thick. I'm not gonna pour the whole thing in. Uh, just that much will do. Because if I do, it'll overflow, leaving about that much left in there. Here we go. Starting the process. We'll see how it looks in, a, in about 10 minutes. 
been about 10 minutes and uh, I hope you can see this but it's starting to look like ice cream not done yet but um, if after 10 minutes if it doesn't start to look at least like creamy then something's wrong it is still liquid yeah something's going on all right we're gonna, I'll, I'll start recording again when we get to the final part all right now it's really starting to look like ice cream it's getting hard and it's almost overflowing so I'm gonna turn this off all right so let's just take this off see I told you I didn't, don't use the whole thing of, of that recipe I told you use like three quarters because this almost overflowed you don't want overflow into the motor all right now I'm gonna take this off it's kind of hard which is good I want the ice cream nice and hard yeah some good ice cream I'm not even dripping so yeah so that's some uh, guava tamarind ice cream and that's how you make it alright like comment subscribe and God bless